question 13, we have modeling with logarithms and exponentials. So we got this graph here with log 10 of v going up the side and t going along the bottom. What's it all about? Well, uh, the value of a rare painting v pounds is modelled by the equation v equals p q to the power of t where p and q are constants and t is the number of years since the value of the painting was first recorded in or on the 1st of January 1980. The line L illustrates the linear relationship between log 10 of V and T. Uh, since the 1st of January 1980, the equation of line L is log 10 of V is equal to 0 0.05 T and 4.8. Part A wants us to find to forcing things the value of P and the value of Q. So we've got two equations here. We've got this guy up here, which is just in terms of V, and that is PQ to the power of T. And we've got this guy here, which is log 10 of v, is equal to some stuff on the right. So what we need to do is turn this equation into log 10 of v on the left, and then some stuff on the right. Then we're going to compare what we have on the right with both equations and that is going to allow us to work out P and Q. So, starting off then with V is equal to P, Q to the power of T. Now to turn V into log 10 of V, we take logs of both sides. So I'm just going to write it as log without a 10, just to keep things simple. So we get log V is equal to log P Q to the T. Now on the right, by the laws of logs, we can write that as log P add log Q to the T. So that's using the subtraction law, uh, sorry, the addition law of logs. If you add them together, you multiply what is inside the logs. So it also works backwards. Okay, and then that second term, log q to the t, we can use the power rule and get that log v. Now we're going to write this as T log uh, Q add log P. Okay, so that is now in the form of the linear relationship up here. So up here we have 0 0.05 T. So that means then that uh, log Q has to be 0 0.05. Now remember that's saying log base 10 of Q is 0 0.05. So that means Q is 10 to the 0 0.05 
they will come back and work that out in a moment. Now we also know then that log P is the constant on its own, so 4.8. So we also know then that log P is 4.8, which means that uh, P is 10 to the 4.8. Okay, let's work out what these values are then. Okay, Q to 4 sig fixed is 1.122. And P, we would get 63,095, which to full sync fix is 63,100. So now that we know the values of P and Q, we now know that our model is V is 63,100 times 1.122 to the power of T. I didn't ask for that yet, but it's worth mentioning. Okay, part B says, with reference to the model, part 1, uh, interpret the value of the constant P. So, for B part 1, remember the model is V is P Q to the power of T. So, when T is equal to 0, V is equal to P, which is equal to 63,000. 100, so 63,000, sorry, 63,100 is the initial value in 1980. And part two, that wants us to interpret the uh, value of the constant Q. So, for Q greater than 1, the value is increasing as T increases. So the constant Q, so Q equals 1.122 shows the value is increasing over time. If it was less than 1, it would be decreasing. We could even say that it's increasing at the increase is the part after the decimal, so it's increasing at 12.2% per year. Cool. Okay, then part C wants us to find the value of the painting on the 1st of January 2010 to the nearest 100,000 using the model. So, in 2010, or 2010, minus 1980 is equal to 30. So, t is equal to 30, when t is equal to 30, v is 63,100 times 
uh, 1.122 to the power of 30, which gives us, now I'm certainly in the wrong business, uh, 1 million, 994,412 pounds which to the nearest 100,000 is 2 million Cool